What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, or U4, as it's more commonly known. It's uh, been a while since we were last here, and last time we were here, we uh, played as Muscovy, trying to form Russia, and things really didn't go well. Uh, everyone went to a coalition against us, and we couldn't do anything. So, sadly that had to end. Now, since then I've obviously played a lot more, and I've decided, obviously, to come back, and to choose a different... Uh, nation to play as and the nation I've decided to play as is going to be this one here I don't know how to pronounce it though it's Vi... 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 I think that's how it's pronounced but I really don't know so this is the nation we're going to be playing as and we're also going to be playing with lucky nations off uh, this means that usually the world turns out in a very certain way like France beats back England, Russia's formed, and all that usual stuff. With this turned off, I believe what it means is that anything can happen in the world. So the world can literally go completely mental. Which is going to make this very interesting. So that's going to be turned off. Also, there was a recent update to uh, EU4, and I can't click on save games. If I do, it crashes the game. I don't know why, but that's a problem. So we're going to be playing as this one here, again I really don't know how to pronounce its name so I'm just going to call it India. So here we go. I've already started playing as these guys and formed Hindustan, which is one of the reasons I want to play as this nation. So this is something I've wanted to do for a while now, and that is play this game obviously as all the factions that have these special green ones such as form Hindustan like Japan has one to obviously unite Japan, Ming has one to form China there's uh, form Russia <coughs> this one's form the uh, what was it the Mongol Khanate or something I don't remember that one but that's what I want to do with this one and then we'll pick up from there so let's see what we first want to do um, I'm thinking the alliance with Malbar. That'll be easy to do because we can ally them and then vassalize them pretty easily. So we'll choose that one and alliance. Unpause. Speed up a bit. There we go. Alliance offer from Carith. Is that Carith? Kathawa, even. So where's Kathawa? Hmm. It's not there or there. I don't see Kathawa. Let's see if we can find it. Um. Okay. Oop. Spelt it right. Kathawa. Oh, it's right there. That might not be a bad one to take, actually. Or to have as an ally. Because then we can vassalize them and we've got access to these two provinces here which when we inevitably siege and take these guys we can sell them to I think I might accept that so we'll choose the raw marriage one and we will take this one let's see how many can we have four and pause anything else we can do we've got some overextension start coring that making plenty of money. We are in the Indian uh, tech group because we are obviously in India. So everything costs 50% uh, more. Which isn't exactly pleasant, but yeah, it could be worse. So ships, what do we have? Uh, cogs and barks. Let's get these guys to protect trade. And let's see, who do we want to attack first? I'm thinking one of these small guys. Uh, we could have an alliance with uh, with Vina. Oh God, rubbish at pronouncing these names. With Vinada, I think that's how I pronounce it. And we can attack uh, Kerchin, which I think might not be a bad idea. And if we form an alliance with these guys, uh, how many alliances can we hold? Another one. And then we get a royal marriage with them. We could even vassalize them if they liked us enough. Get a royal marriage with these guys. There we go. 
and what else do we have? Spread our culture, repair relations with the Bahamas. Oh, not Bahamas. No, bah Bahamas. Well, we're not going to do that because we're going to be attacking them. Uh, reclaim or spread culture. I'm thinking we take the reclaim option. So we have a core on. Do we have a core? Yeah, we have a core there. So that's going to be one of our first targets. Down here, we will can get a rail warrant with them soon. Oh, have they offered us one? No, it's from Cathoar, which I will accept. Um, over here, let's see. They will not accept vassalization. Attack base compared. Oh well. From Muir. Hmm, where are they? They are there. I won't take that one. I'll leave that one for now and probably take a different one later on. Okay, so these guys don't really like us. They feel threatened. These guys love us though. So, these guys have enemies of Ceylon and Cochin. These guys have no enemies. We will set some rivals. Let's head to uh, diplomacy. If you are country, we will set is these guys and oop, misclicked. And these guys. Did that work? Come on, work. The time's lucky. There we go. So now uh, they'll start liking us some more. So we'll get our army down here. Do we have a leader? We do not. Ooh, a 2-3-2. Two, two. That's pretty good. <laughs> so these guys won't vassalize to us just yet. However, these guys will. So we'll start improving relations there. Alternatively, we could attack... Could we? No, we couldn't because we have truce with them. So we have truces with these guys. Not with these guys, though. What's their forces like? Military, we can unpause. Uh, where are they? There they are, they have 10,000 men at the moment, same as us. We count to 14,000. Our current composition is 8 and 2. So, two more of them and two more of them. There we go. We do need advisors. Uh, national tax guy, he will eventually pay for himself. Diplomatic reputation, yes, and discipline. Very nice. Now, our ideas are obviously Indian ideas. Again, I'm not going to pronounce that. And we get plus one advisor and 20% religious unity. Very nice. So, while playing as these guys, we obviously prioritize trade. Because if we look at the trade, most, nearly all the trade from the east comes through us, or at least by sea. So, we obviously will make a lot of profit from trade here and here. However, in my other game, when I actually formed Hindustan, I noticed that this one here is uncolonized. So what we can do is, if we wanted, is we could choose the uh, expansion ideas or exploration, explore down here, and colonize the Cape of Africa. And I think it's the Cape of Good Hope or the Cape of Hope. I think that's what it's pronounced as, or not pronounced as, I think that's what it's name is. And we can also eat Swahili and the rest of these guys here. So we could do that and they would earn most of the trade from the east. Which I think is a very good idea. But I think we'll wait before we start doing anything like that. So we'll get all you guys to farm up. And you know what? I think we will go straight for this territory up to times five. Group these guys up. These guys do not have any allies. In fact, we can even set them as rivals. So, view own country. Rival them. And we'll declare war. And hopefully this will go well. In fact, I'll save just to be sure. Uh, LP. 
See, there's my Hindustan ones. Here we go. Let's march in. That's their army. 2nd December, what's it like there? Grasslands and desert. I don't think we'll suffer a, a negative penalty for being there. 11th and the 9th, we won't catch them, so we'll just stand around. Mm -mm. Probably shouldn't wait. No, we're not going to wait, otherwise, they're just going to form a perfectly large army. So we'll head out to attack them. What's the terrain like? Desert Grasslands Plain. I don't know if we'll suffer a penalty. Okay, it's only a minus one. It's not terrible. We have more men. Come on, we can do this. Come on. There we go. And they're retreating, so we'll head back to there. Probably wise to chase them down. So, in fact, we'll follow them. <laughs> and we catch some of their units being built. kill these guys now, then I think we wipe them. Come on, some good rolls. There we go. We did not. But we'll keep chasing them. Where are they heading to? There. Keep chasing. We're going to have to stop after this because we are losing a lot of men. Again, we still didn't wipe them. Well, we'll just head back. And then we'll just wait. Start sieging up. Start sieging and healing. We get some mercenaries if necessary, but we are losing money. No, it's not that much. And there we go, we're in the positive again. Oh, we've already breached the walls as well. That's good. So for this first one, I think we'll only take this province to avoid the huge coalitions that usually occur. In fact, we could have asked our allies to join in. Wouldn't have been a bad idea. Since we have a core here as well, we won't need to worry about. Uh, yeah, we won't need to worry about um, the cost of admin power. And this is kind of worrying. That's very worrying, in fact. Let's get some. Oh, we can't build them. Uh, oh dear. Well, let's see. Well, our leader beats theirs. They're suffering a minus one. We are fighting in a bad situation now. We can get some mercenaries. Uh, we will take them. Mercantilism? Mercantilism. Mercenaries are built. Go join in. 1st of December. We can win. We lost. Oh god damn it. Really? That's not good. There goes our mercenaries. Have to put it up times five now and wait for it to come back. This always happens when I start recording EU4. Things will go really well, then all of a sudden... They'll go really well when I'm playing on my own. Then all of a sudden they'll go really horrible. And we'll just lose. Dramatically. Okay, now we're winning. Come on, keep winning. They have no men left. I think we slotted them as well. Wonderful. So now things are turning around. 
this maybe we'll finally be able to siege through this province. <laughs> we have no manpower left as well. Hmm. I'm thinking we boost stability. I oh, don't think that would be a bad idea. Cost us some admin power. And we can also get some other things as well. So let's see, which one do we want? Well, we can get stability cost or national revolt risk. I'm thinking the revolt risk is better. I mean, it's always nice to boost stability, but we can get certain uh, people which do that. Again, same with the revolt risk. But I think long term, this one's going to be better. So we'll take that one. So now we don't have to worry so much about revolts. Let's see if we get as lucky with knocking down the walls. <laughs> Rolling ones. It's always fun when you roll really, really low. And eleven, much nicer. Still no chance of them surrendering this province. There we go, we've even broken the walls. That's what we wanted. Let's have a look at the ledger. Um, where are they? There they are, they have 4,000 manpower. So they do beat us in terms of manpower. But we're not going for huge amounts of territory, just want the war goal. Start chipping away at them and dealing with the other people around us. Okay, there we go. Will you give us that? You will. How much money will you give us? Well, again, I only want that territory. The money's kind of second. Let's see how much we can take. So we can take 30. That's enough, I think. In fact, if we wanted to, we could keep sieging and release it and release one of these people, which I th mm, it's difficult. Releasing this nation here would be really, really good. Doing that would be incredible. I think we might go for that. It'll take us a while to heal up, but I don't think I think doing that will really help. Get some more mercenaries as well to uh, bolster our ranks. There we go. We've got to deal with them. Are we over our force limit as well? We are. We will catch them as well. There we go, slaughtered. Let's siege their capital. Yeah, if we siege their capital, we'll get a lot of war go for that. Um, let's just try and negotiate. Minus eight, we'll have to take out a loan. And we should do. So these videos I think are going to go on for 30 minutes rather than 20 which I was doing for the uh, Elemental series which just finished. Ooh, also, thing I was going to talk about. Last night, as in after I had uh, un after you guys had see, probably seen the last video of the Elemental series, I got a beta key for Hearthstone, which excited me a lot. I'm still trying to get my account back though because of problems obviously with me not using it for like five years. Oh god, why this ability? Um, choose that one. A call to arms. Um, I'd rather not, but sure. So I do have a key, a beta key for Hearthstone. So there may be videos of that coming, of the arena and things like that. My pots are blockaded. Where? Okay, where's our fleets? Uh, you can just come home for now. I don't want you being sunk. <laughs> and they currently have a lot more men than I do. Align with this guy probably wasn't the smartest idea. 
but I think we'll be fine. We're not really fighting anything at the moment, so we're not losing any men. There we go. And we're just chipping away at the, uh, the, uh, what, what were the names again? Baham, Bahamis. And did they get into a war with someone else? They did. Uh, this guy's conquest of East something or other. In fact, will these guys accept a? Hmm, they might do. If we got rid of the distance between borders, we may be able to vassalize these guys, which is something I actually quite like to do. So down here, we'll vassalize these guys because we can. What about here? You guys eh, won't accept. Sadly. Well, we could get an alliance with them, but now that wouldn't put us over, actually. Won't it? Do, yeah. I misjudged how many we actually had. So let's see how things are going over there. Not well. But it didn't go well for them last time either, so. Not surprising. Let's take a quick look at the world as well, see how things are going. Don't expect much to have changed. Nope, nothing's really changed. But then again, we can't see Europe, so we have no idea what's going on over there. We have Hindu zealots. Really? That province isn't Hindu? No, it's... Uh, what was that? Looks like that is Hindu. Religious map mode. No, most of these provinces are Shiite. No, what am I saying? It's the faction which is Shiite. So the provinces obviously aren't happy with that. So now we have Hindu zealots helping us out, which is always nice to have. Soon this territory will fall. Why can't I? I won't receive provinces to me anymore. Take that and release them and some gold as well while you're at it. Peace offer. What is it? They will seed it and pay 30 ducats. Hmm. You know what? I'll accept that. We can leave the other provinces. We'll take them eventually. We'll accept that. This is that we already have a core there. We uh, don't need to worry about that. So, claim our rival's province of Desh and Cochin. Looks like we're off down to Cochin. Because now that you guys have vassalized to us, we can take this and sell this to them. That way, when we annex them, we don't have to worry about coring costs. So, take Cochin. Oh, these guys love me as well. Did we not get a Casus Belly for doing that? They would even vassalize to me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But we're going to have to uh, fabricate a claim against you. So we should probably be improving relations with someone. We could claim their throne if we wanted. So they won't vassalize just yet because of the borders thing. Let's fabricate a claim there. That way we can get rid of this borders issue. Our men are slowly recovering. Ceylon hates me. Not surprising. I don't get that. Our tax base compared to theirs. Minus 26. I'd have thought we would have a lot more tax base than they would have. Unless that's the problem. But I don't know why it would be. Our agent was discovered and now they hate me. Oh well. Uh, 
legitimacy or stability? I'll uh, check legitimacy here. Uh, rebel problems. That's still coring. We have a lot of war exhaustion. Um, let's reduce some of that. That should get rid of some of the rebels. It did. Our unit slowly healing. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, our allies lost. I forgot we were in that war. <laughs> that explains why we had the uh, war exhaustion problem. I don't really want to choose this one. Taunts of her heretics may be nice, but minus two missionary strength is not good. So have we got our claim yet? We have. And remove... Who? Remove... Gurret. Where are they? Oh, these guys. That isn't going to happen. However, we can do that one. Remove Kerchin from the map. Which we will do. Uh, we'll call willing allies, because why not? Instantly slaughtered, and now we wait. In fact, we can uh, get back our... get our fleet back to uh, protecting trade. Let's have a look at our economy, actually. And we're gaining quite a lot from trade. We have that learn to repair, which we will do. We could probably get rid of the mercenaries, but I'll keep them around just for the bit longer. Already broken down the walls as well. Wait, these guys aren't our vassal? What? What? Was it because... No, it can't have been. What happened? Did I miss something? God damn it. That's irritating. How about you? So you now hate me because I abandoned you even though I didn't. There must have been a message I missed. Things are definitely going strange. Oh well, looks like we'll just have to aggressively take you then. Again, last time I did this, things went very differently. Well, that's upsetting. So now I have to aggressively take everything, rather than just taking it, selling it, and then annexing. Oh god. <laughs> they have just eaten everything. They've even released a nation. So that's that done. Now, we could actually vassalize them. If we vassalized these guys, and attacked these guys instead, that would be breaking the royal marriage though. And that would hurt. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. It may take a long time, but eventually they may want to become our vassal once again. We will also get rid of the mercenaries. So, separate mercenaries. And get rid of you. We have a new mission. Reclaim that place. There. Are you guys in the lines with anyone? You are. And they've insulted us. And joined a coalition against me. Well. That's not good. 
but we are at the 30 minute mark for this part so I hope you guys are enjoying this series it's only just started but who knows what could happen so I will see you guys in the next part